Well, basically what we found is that when you present statements by Donald Trump to participants, and you then tell those participants that the statements are either false or true, then people shift their beliefs in response to that correction or affirmation. And people do that irrespective of whether they support Donald Trump or whether they oppose Donald Trump. However, the, interesting, the most interesting finding of our study is that that shift in belief in specific instances, specific statements made by Donald Trump, was not associated with a shift in people's voting intentions or their feelings about Donald Trump. So basically, it is possible to tell people that something is wrong and they will then adjust their belief, but it makes no difference to how they feel about Donald Trump. Well, I would like to argue that it tells us or that it is part of the puzzle of accumulating evidence telling us that people are not terribly concerned about facts in the sense that um, whether or not a politician tells something that is factually correct has no effect on their attitudes. So people in the media have been talking about this post-truth, post-fact politics for the last year or so. And I think that is what, what our study is showing, that um, facts don't have the traction that maybe some of us would like them to have. Some of us would like voters to walk away from politicians who don't speak the truth that often, but apparently that is not a concern to voters. No, not really. It was a fairly standard uh, study. If there was a challenge at all, it was to, at the time, to find sufficient statements, statements by Donald Trump that were completely true so that we could use them in our experiment as something that we could affirm and tell people, well, these statements are actually true. Uh, because, as we know from independent fact checkers, about 70 to 80 percent of all statements uttered by Donald Trump on the campaign trail were either false or at best half true. Well, I think we need to move in a direction that involves interdisciplinary research involving not just cognitive scientists such as myself, but in particular also um, IT experts, information technology experts who can take our findings and convert them into a way forward by changing the information architecture of the internet so that it becomes a little harder to obtain or share misinformation than to obtain or share correct information.